Tan and Audi Electronics. Today we are working on an 04 to 06 Lexus LS430. Uh, you can see um, the cluster is obviously half out. So these sometimes have an issue where the lighting goes dim or it'll start to turn brown just due to age and mileage. Um, other times you might have gauge issues where the needles don't work or they go down. Um, these screens might go dim over time. The left and right screen and then the center. <clears throat> which shows you various information bits and then the temperature outside. If you don't have a navigation, this will actually be a compass in the middle. Um, so that's kind of what that shows. Um, some issues that could arise, uh, like I said, these go dim. Uh, the, the needles start to get bouncy over time. There's nothing you can really do about that. Um, it's just they get old, and that's what happens. So, um, you know, we can get lower mileage parts or lower mileage cluster that performs more like new that doesn't have some of those issues um, that's typically what we try to do when we do replacement clusters we find the lowest mileage one and then uh, start there as the base uh, now this vehicle had an issue with the center clock and uh, the left information display not working uh, when that happens, you might be surprised to learn that there's two power wires in the cluster. So there's one power wire that powers the whole cluster, and then a second one, which goes to the dome fuse uh, and the passenger side footwell, which powers the left information display and the, the compass temp in the center. So two fuses, there's three or four grounds that need to be good on the connector in the cluster for everything to work. Um, so this one actually had an issue with the connector behind the cluster and some of the wiring that was causing intermittent um, left and center display issues. So we did what we could to try to figure it out and then um, a little bit of dielectric grease and untwisted the connector. Um, again, just with higher mileage, sometimes those things get some tension on them and uh, some of the pins start to pull out of the connector and you have connection issues. So this one is um, going to be good to go. And um, we do, we don't advertise any repairs for this. Um, typically we just do the replacements. It's a lot easier and faster, uh, more cost effective just to get you one that's um, programmed to your mileage. And then uh, the lighting's all refreshed and everything's good to go. But if you are interested in sending it in, we can surely um, go that route to save you a little bit of money. Um, we can change the backlighting color on these, so we can do, it's white right now, or like a tan, kind of off-white. We can do uh, many other colors. We can do blue, red, green, um, anything that uh, you desire. Um, also the needles, so these are white, which means the needle themselves is, it has a clear film. So the needles as well, we can do in different colors on these. We can do pretty much anything, blue, green, red, etc. Um, we can also swap these needles into the older model, the 01 to 03 LS430. So if you want white needles in the older vehicle, we can do that um, instead of those the red ones that those have. So, yeah, not, not too many issues with these. I mean, they're pretty robust and built well. All the lighting um, indicators are all LED, so there's no like bulbs that burn out on these typically. Um, one issue that I have seen in the past um, was the check engine light on the 01 to 03 cluster. Um, seems like there's a bad connection on the board or something just um, loosens up. Um, because I've seen those kind of not turn on at all, or you'll see them really dim and then get brighter. Uh, so that's the only issue I've seen on the 01 to 03. They seem to have fixed it on the 04 to 06. Moving along to the navigation. Um, we do sell a lot of these digitizers, so the touch um, panel portion of the screen. Um, that goes bad, and then obviously we... Um, we fix it and then we sell the uh, the part so you can do it yourself. But other issues with this um, are basically it won't load at all. It'll say check external connection uh, or something to that effect and nothing 
pops up. That's typically an issue with uh, more than likely the, the drive in the trunk, the passenger rear um, DVD drive, or the connector gets corroded because it's in the trunk and it gets a lot of uh, moisture. I've seen ones where wires just are not even connected. So check that first. Um, otherwise, there is um, a fix, and we do sell a board, a replacement um, circuit board, that resolves it if it's an issue with the head unit about the check external system. But other than that, again, <clears throat> not too many issues with these. If you have color issues or like sun damage, that's that could be the digitizer, but that also could be the screen behind it. So we also have the screens. Um, I think we have the screens with the digitizer, so you can just do the whole thing at once. So that's nice. Um, this obviously gets worn down from your finger up here. Not much you can do about that. I don't think these housings are available from Lexus anymore. And then the radio, no issues with these. These are made pretty well. Um, yeah, not much to say about that. I mean, cassette if you like that. And then the CD changer hidden in here, six disc. Again, I've never had any issues with that at all, or any customers or anything. Um, and that's about it. The um, the speakers, those are an issue on the forums where obviously the speakers get older in the doors and the dash and everything. Um, and you can find these, you can buy them new, I believe, but you can find them used too. And, you know, if you're having popping issues or, or audio issues, you just swap in uh, used ones and get your system working again. Okay, so the cluster is already out, like I said. We'll just kind of work backwards here. So there's four Phillips head screws, very easy uh, in each corner. One, two, three, four. That holds the cluster in place, and there's one plug in the back right. Um, this part is a little bit tricky to get in and out. I'll just pan over here. It's kind of the bezel, the housing around the cluster. You can see you have... Um, the security lights and then the dimmer knob here and then um, the plug in the back and then you have to feed a plug through here and then that is your trip button and reset button and then here's the panel that covers this so if you imagine that in the car so this thing you got to make sure you put in the connectors obviously and then slide it in here and then the top, you'll see two holes. Those are for these little plastic screws that Lexus likes to use. I don't know if it's focusing or not, but it's a little plastic screw, so it's hard to unscrew because it doesn't want to unscrew in plastic and plastic. So sometimes you just pull them out and squeeze them, push them back in to secure them. And that's it. So four Phillips head metal screws, two plastic screws, two plugs, and then a couple of these little trim panels. And they all pop out. These just, they're not screwed in or anything. You don't have to remove anything under here or lower than the dash, the cluster. This panel, this kick panel, or the dash panel here is just, it's fine. It's separate. So that is it. Um, as usual, if you have any questions, anything like that, just let us know and we can take care of your issues. Thanks.